it's your boy Fresh Friend Bird here now. We're gonna be talking about this new gameplay, and I was just trying to get it up and running, going with this game called Resident Evil Containment Part Two or Episode Two, whatever. This episode takes place right after when when Martinez, aka Ghost, had made its way to the mansion, but he, there's many problems that Lisa, in the classic universe has been dwelling around the mansion at the time of the outbreak. Now let's get to the point, shall we? And this game is brought to you by none other than Aiden Watkins of Barry's Mod and Resident Evil 2 Desperate Times. Go check that mods out that I recommend for to kick off the Halloween gaming or whatnot. Let's go! And now let's just try to get to the point. I had to disable my 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 antivirus because it deleted the the other one. We're just gonna play episode two. There you go.
fuck up. Okay, that's even much scary. I don't fucking like this, man. Like, dude. Hey, at least we're safe for now. Was there? For those who don't know what's that noise, that's Lisa. Which that means. She's in the mansion or some shit. I'm not gonna lie, I like the way how they did with the pre recorded backgrounds. service. Is 
she went to the guardhouse with the others. Guardhouse? Why? It has an armory full of weapons here. There's no way that anyone can survive without them. So where's the guardhouse located? You can get there through the garden. Take the elevator and just pass the, the metal gates. Alright, I'm going. Wait, please don't leave me like this. There's got to be a medikit around somewhere. If you find one, please bring it to me. I'll make it worth it your while. Alright. Thank you. There's a key on the shelf over there. Please, hurry. I don't fucking like this, man. That's one thing I don't fucking like is seeing things in the dark because for one <laughs> Because I don't fucking know where I'm going. The body of a security guard. Doesn't look like they were bitten. What could have done this?
Man, he died. They died too? In my honest opinion, it could have been better if if the original Resident Evil 1 had some detailed pre-rendered backgrounds to indicate what really happened with the, the research. Like, there were some first wave of sweep teams trying to clean up the mansion, but some people are not so lucky with it, just to be on the realistic side. I can't see anything past this darkness. It's too dangerous to continue this way. Bitch, how should I know? Just like Dark Biohazard, but but much more disturbing to say the least. Sound like an elevator in the garden. Did somebody use it? Bathtub is filled with congratulated blood. Too thick to drain the bathtub. Maybe I could use some hot water. I 
toilet's filled with blood. Yeah, somebody had took a shit in there or something. <laughs> Where are you going, motherfucker? I ain't done with you yet. There you go. Right the fuck off. There's one thing I don't fucking like is this shit. Researcher's memo. This accident may not be a, such a bad thing after all, as one of the lead searchers of the T-Virus project had access to a lot of valuable data. I made copies of the research data and reports. This stuff is, will be worth millions to those who wish to exploit the, the power of T-Virus. I barely have turned their backs on us. Turning me back on them, I spent my life working on this research. About this time, I'm gonna get what I finally deserve. Damn, boy, are you trying to blackmail the company or some shit? Is that a fucking hand or some shit? Anyways.
I just got jumped by these fucking killer bees. It's locked. There's no keyhole, there must be a way to open it. <coughs> Nothing special. How do you do that?
Okay, this is a bit frustrating. Kind of a little bit irritating, but I'm just gonna take a break from it. This is Fresh Fan Bird here now. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and leave a comment down below, and I'll be making a part two of this gameplay. See you around. <laughs>